<laughs> I told you, your weapons have no effect on me. It is my considered advice that you discontinue your use of said weapon. <laughs> oh, my spastic they call him. Uh, Dear Japan, bite me. Love Chris's oh, face. That? Yeah, Mike, I was wondering that myself. Weird, isn't it? Oh, hey, son. How'd you get here so fast? Oh, he'll be along. I have his chicken puppet. Hey, where's Crow? <laughs> talking like what? Why are you talking like that? Well, no, I'm not. I'm just way ahead of you, Mike. Well, like that. You know, you're answering my questions before I ask them. I don't know. I'm just asking them the same thing. No, you don't. I mean, I'm moving faster than you, temporally speaking. Hey, what do you mean you're way ahead of me? Well, I asked you for it, Crow. You were right here. <laughs> Hi, guys. Hey, how'd you get here so fast? That's what I've been trying to tell you, Mike. I'm ahead of you by about three seconds. You know what, guys? I think there may be something wrong with the space-time continuum. Several, how'd you get my chicken pup in? Nope. Sorry. Everything's on the fritz. My burrito was done before I put it in the oven. All right, all right. Take your damn chicken pup and I'll have it back before you know it anyway. <laughs> hey, Tom, why don't you just give him his chicken pup back, all right? Hey, why don't we ask Gypsy to mess with the warp end? Well, all I know is I want my chicken puppet back. Hey, how'd that happen? That's a good idea. Gypsy, uh, there's something wrong with the space-time thingy. Isn't there anything we can do? Well, okay, Gypsy. Well, I guess all we can do is ride it out. I'm out of here. Okay, Gypsy, I guess all we can do is ride it out. I'm good. Wow, it's a weird deja vu. <laughs> yeah, that's a good idea, Crow. You do that. This is really weird. We'll be right back. Well, I'm just going to play with my chicken puppet until this blows over. I'll see you, Mike. Tom. Hey, anybody see my chicken puppet? I like it very much. You just opened up a whole can of jelly whoop ass, pal. I find it so refreshing that a woman your age can still get blemishes. Your plainness must afford you a peaceful anonymity. You're lucky. Tell me, is that pile of straw in your head easier to care for than real hair? You, you are so brave to wear that, even with all those black goat hair sticking out out of all the moles of your back. <laughs> Tell me, is your husband so pale because you suck the life blood out of him? He's not my husband. Oh, then you're barren. No, just selective. Must be fun to be a slut, though. <laughs> not nearly as much fun as being a booed up old hag. That tears it. It's still alive, but it's changed into a dip of some sort. Well, it's a plant or an animal. animal. <laughs> it's fun to have fun. Chances are that I'll kick your scrawny ass. So is anyone gonna offer me some ham? Come on, bite me, I'm a toaster strudel. <laughs> the caution my filling may be hot. <laughs> the clock's running backwards. That means lunch won't be until yesterday. I'm gonna grab a step ladder so you can jump up my butt. You know, a lot of people have compared this scene to the climactic chariot scene in Ben-Hur. Uh-huh. Yeah, you know, they usually say, Ben Hur was really good. This movie totally sucked. Yeah. Calgon, blow me away. It seems that we are not all in agreement. I disagree. Work your magic. Forty-seven Keebler elves were killed today when a light plane plunged into their tree. E.L. Fudge remains in critical condition. <laughs> so, uh, you cooking dinner? Are you offering dinner? No, I'm saying make me dinner. Uh, this would have been a great job, except for those two guys <laughs> shot me up into space yeah. and that sleepy-eyed guy left. you got mail. Pattern baldness. <laughs> oh, he's trying to get honey like poo. Well, he's like poo, all right. <laughs> Yeah, man, temp is great, you know, it's flexible hours, you can sleep in, you can ditch whenever you want. Wow, that sounds pretty good. Do uh, you get bennies with that? Blue cross. That sounds cool. I, how do I not? Is it what am I saying? Vermont, city on the go. Filmed in Vermont, the other smaller Wisconsin. Hey, someone turn off the fat rotating guy. You know you want me, baby. Okay, good, that's clear now.
know, Captain, every year of my life, I grow more and more convinced that the wisest and best is to fix our attention on the good and on the beautiful. You know, just take the time to look at it. There's some guy, McConaughey. Even I grow more and more convinced that the wisest and the best is to fix our attention on the good and the beautiful. Represented by a plate of sour rotten and picture of Tony Tate. Right. <laughs> what a marvelous anecdote. So, now, how do you know Pearl? Ah, uh, well, she's got some trapped up here, actually. Really? How awful for you. Hey, Mike, you're going to introduce me to your purple friend here? Let's go to your damn Nelson. Oh, I say, everyone, everyone, let's play charades in the parlor. Hey, <laughs> why you got to go? <laughs> My name is Vadim. I'm an onion. This is absolutely fascinating. <laughs> right. Due time. Well, maybe then it's too late. Mm -hmm. Wow, the future condition of blue perfect subjunctive. You call it a I'll kill your whole family if you call me that again. Miss Robbins, do you know anything about bees? No, nothing. So you stopped after A, did you? Well, this scene really makes me want to go flubbing. The director of this film is crazy. He's really my mentor. He taught me how to truly love a woman from across the street through a telescope. <laughs> hmm. Killer grandma. I'm locked in a barn. Something's not right here. They got into port and everyone was okay. They went out for lunch and felt better. By the way, I hate that rabbit. 